What's up, Infected? It's Wolf for the Quarantine, and this is Kickstart Your Week. Uh, so if you're not familiar with what this is, this is my weekly show where I go over the previous week's Kickstarters uh, that I thought looked interesting. Now, uh, there's really not a lot of hard, fast rules about what I choose. Uh, it's really what did I think looked interesting. Uh, maybe it was the title. Maybe it was a theme. Maybe it's something I found five minutes before recording this. Maybe it was something I'd been following for months. Uh, there's really no telling. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit about why I chose it, why I thought it looked neat. Uh, and then at the end, I'll give an arbitrary award uh, of basically if I were to kickstart one of the, the Kickstarters I covered, which one would it be? Uh, but really the only hard fast rule that I do have is I do choose a maximum of five different Kickstarters because sometimes there's so many of them. I got to cut, I draw, got to draw the line somewhere. So many Kickstarters every day. I, I can't keep up with all of them. So I do limit it to a maximum of five. Sometimes we get less than five, sometimes there's way more than five, and I have to cut it somewhere. So first out of the gates is Viceroy, and I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correct, uh, Times of Darkness. Now, uh, I picked up Viceroy a while back, uh, I think it was super on sale for like $12 or something like that, uh, and I picked it up on a whim, I'd never heard of it, I'd never seen anything about it, but I was like, 12 bucks? If I get a game uh, or a play or two out of it, it'll be, you know, it'll be fine. Um, and I wound up really enjoying the game. It's uh, basically you're uh, doing this, you're building a pyramid, basically, of power. And the higher in your pyramid you build, the better the powers generally are, uh, but the more expensive they are. So you have to have a good foundation to start uh, little abilities going off, tokens, uh, stuff like that. And then you build on top of those. And sometimes, uh, let's see if I can find some of the cards here. Um, as you see, the cards are, as they build on top of each other, they're going to be building full gems. Uh, and those gems could, at the end of the game, could be worth extra points. Um, and it's a really interesting game. There's a really cool bidding mechanic where you have, a, pardon me, you have a four uh, different colors, like yellow, red, green, and blue, I think it is. And everybody's going to hold out a color of that gem because you have your own little supply of each color. And you're going to reveal... And if everybody reveals different ones, then everybody just gets the color that they got. However, if you and me tie on, say, I don't know, red, then we lose that gem and we have to bid again. And you keep doing that until everybody has bid it or until you uh, do a clash bid basically three times in a row. Then you pass. Uh, then you could also pass. You could hold out no gems and you just get three gems of your choice. Um, and that's the basically the meat of the game. You're trying to figure out how you're going to be placing these uh, different square cards and where you're going to put them and trying to uh, g accomplish whatever strategy that you were wanting to accomplish. Now, a really, really fun game. It's fairly light and has quite a bit of strategy behind it. Uh, now, this is an expansion that adds, I think it said, three different modules. Uh, it adds the, Arist uh, the aristocrat modules where they like to be higher up because they're aristocrats. So they cost uh, two, it looks like two gems of any color to be able to put them on the bottom. So you get penalized. Normally gem, uh, things only cost one to put them on the bottom, uh, but they cost, and they also don't give you anything for putting them on the bottom row because they're the aristocrats. They don't want to be at the, the lowest bit, uh, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, so sometimes, and the aristocrats from what I can see here, uh, they look like they have a lot of cool abilities but then on top of that that means to put them on the second level it's going to take in in like this guy right here it's going to take one red and two of any color so that's expensive to put that out uh so i thought that was interesting just it, it's more cards uh next is the invasion module now this one i wasn't i didn't understand 100 percent how this works but from what i understand is i guess when they come out Everybody can pay what you see here and you get the rewards and then if you can't pay if you can't pay that then you get like a penalty card or, or something like that. Um, I'm not 100% sure but it, it, it seems interesting where you have to be prepared for certain things that may wind up happening and I like that because rather than tanking you know going ahead and tanking all of your stuff and then just passing next round to get three more tokens. Maybe now you're going to think twice about it and hold some stuff back because things might attack. Uh, if that's how that works, if I understand right. And then, the, in my opinion, the most interesting is the Underworld module. Now, I thought this one was cool because your pyramid builds up. Um, uh, up to four layers, I think it is. So you're always building on top of uh, the other layers. These ones allow you to build below and I thought that was really cool. It's only one level below. Um, but I thought it was really cool because you... It looks like you... you 
could draw from it and you just get two tokens of your choice and then you put them below and depending on where below you put them um, they give you penalties you actually get penalized for using them and I thought that was kind of cool because you you get a penalty for using them but they also give you a bonus as well um, and maybe you are able to put them more than two, one down I'm, I'm not sure because it looks like you have two three and five or something like that I'm, I'm not 100% sure I know they go below the normal tower um, but I thought that was cool because you, you're gonna have to pay a price you get a, an immediate bonus for getting it you get this card plus two gems which is cool you're gonna put it here you're gonna get these like I think they're disgrace tokens or something like that but then you get a really cool ability maybe you get to move people around in your in your tower now or uh, what is this like uh, the five um, diamonds which diamonds are a wild resource and so I thought that was cool it just adds more kind of strategic depth do you want to take uh, a penalty that could be um, negative victory points or something do you want to take that penalty for potentially a really cool ability and I thought that was cool and then all of them add new law cards which it's been a while since I played Viceroy uh, but if I remember right the law cards are cards that can come out and they basically break and change the rules um, so I thought that was really really cool and of course it comes with uh, tokens and stuff for all the different modules and the artwork in the game is already fantastic and according to this the um, expansion is actually going to add um, or the box is going to be able to hold the base game and expansion and I am a sucker for uh, I'm a sucker for being able to add everything together uh, and I actually just now saw this uh, the fact that you can get super sexy gemstones I might I might add that if I kickstart this I don't know um, but also if you kickstart it you're gonna get a Kickstarter specific um, box looks like the retail box is gonna look like this here but this is the uh, unique Kickstarter version of the box which looks really cool honestly I kind of like this one better but uh, she's kind of cute so I'll take a cute girl in my box and lastly, because there's only two this week, uh, it felt kind of like a dry week. I'm um, hoping I didn't overlook something that looked phenomenal, uh, but just nothing really jumped out at me this week. So uh, the only other one that I thought looked really neat was Project L. Now, I am a sucker for Tetris. I have played... I'm not great at Tetris, but I love Tetris. I could play that game all day. Uh, and that theme song, the dun, 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 I can just, it sticks in your head. Um, on top of that, if you haven't heard of the hit complete history of the world or the complete history of the Soviet Union, but to the theme of Tetris, you owe it to yourself to, <laughs> to watch that video. Uh, but I love Tetris. I really do. And this game kind of reminds me of Tetris. So what it looks like is when you first start out, you're going to have uh, so many pieces, so many of these little little shapes. Uh, I don't know if they're random, yeah, base pieces. So you're only gonna have this one, or pardon me, or, or two or something. I'm, I'm not 100% sure how you, you get them, but you're going to choose uh, a piece from the middle of the board that you see here, and you're going to finish that piece. So if you can put all of the pieces in and completely fill it up, you complete it, it goes off to the side, and then you get, I'm guessing, the the, point, the little number of value here or the points that they're worth. Uh, but then, in the top right-hand corner, you get that piece now. So now, it increases how much that you're able to complete. So now, maybe you can complete this one here, because now you have this piece that you need. So you do that, you get the piece that it rewards you with. And then you can take multiple. And, and so according to the, the video, it looks like at some point you're going to be able to collect multiple ones like this and just complete all of them in one fell swoop. And that way you get more points with less actions from w the way it seems. And I really thought that was awesome because I, again, I'm a big fan of Tetris. And uh, so this kind of gives me that tetris -y vibe almost. Um... But it kind of it becomes a puzzle that you that compounds itself. So at first you start out with a couple crappy little pieces. So do you just do the ones that you you know you can do quickly, uh, or do you wait until like you can do the do the the puzzles that give you pieces that you want for later that are more versatile? And 
I, I like that. Whether or not the game winds up being any good, I don't know. And yeah, see, it looks like, because the, there's a little cotton bag here, so I guess you pull them out randomly. I, I don't really know. Um, not 100% sure how any of that works. But I, I just thought it was a neat concept, and I, I like puzzly games sometimes. And it looks like it's probably something you can maybe play by yourself as well. Like, uh, I don't know if there's a solo mode or anything. I, I haven't looked super deep into it. But uh, let's see. It looks like the game is only $35, uh, which isn't bad. And, well, 35 euro, which is 41 US dollars, which isn't bad. And again, I, I like the theme. It looks like it's super simple to play or super simple to learn. And looks like it could be really, really fun to play. All right, and that is my Kickstarter of or my Kickstarters for this week. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, there's only two. Um, I just nothing really jumped out at me. Um, I'm, you know, maybe I'm overlooking something super awesome. Uh, but I don't know. I just I didn't see anything that really jumped out at me that I thought looked kind of interesting. Uh, I did throw out a couple that I just I didn't wound up not caring for that I thought looked neat, and I looked at it and was like, eh, not really. And and kind of got rid of it. Um, so I, normally, I, I sometimes when I only have two, I I think well, that's happened once. Uh, I did don't think I did a Kickstarter of the week, but uh, I think I'll probably go ahead and still do it anyways. Um, I was actually because I was torn between these two. Uh, they both seemed really cool. The Project L, I like the puzzle aspect of it. I like the Tetrisy kind of vibe, and it just it just seemed really neat. Like the decision making. The, the compounding decision making. Do you do you do the, get this one because you know you can do it now, or do you do this one because that piece is more, maybe this one's worth more points or something, but this one gives you a piece you're gonna be able to use later uh, that's more versatile and that you can maybe complete the bigger stuff later. And so that's a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, thinky that I thought was really cool. But my problem with it is, I wonder how much replayability the game has. Uh, after you've played it a couple times, um, how will you already, you know, you'll, you'll know kind of set in stone what you'll need. And I don't know, I worry about how much replayability it, you know, once you complete a puzzle so many times, it, it becomes a really easy puzzle. It doesn't matter how many pieces it is. So uh, that's why I was a little on the fence. So I'm gonna give the my Kickstarter of the week award to Viceroy. Um, because I know I like Viceroy, I, I own the base game. Like I said, I, I bought it on a whim uh, when it was it was super cheap. I'm wanting to say it was like 12 or 15 bucks or something obscenely cheap. Uh, might even be less than that. Um, some place was having a super big sale. And I picked it up on a whim because somebody uh, passing or something had mentioned, I think it was a Facebook group, had just in passing mentioned that it was a pretty cool game and this place had it on sale. And I bought it on a whim and thought it was really, really cool. I, had don't, I haven't gotten it to the table a whole lot. Uh, unfortunately, it's the reviewer's curse. It's sometimes hard to get games to the table more than once unless they're just outstanding games. Uh, but the game is solid. The game is good. It's got a lot of really cool mechanics behind it. I love the bidding mechanic. I love the fact that you're building things up on top of each other and you're trying to, uh, you know, are you going to try to make like uh, gems? Because at the end of the game, maybe you can go towards that strategy, but then everybody else sees you're going towards that strategy. So now you're going to have these conflicting bids. Uh, against these certain ones because maybe I don't want you getting that because I see you have a bunch of red gems built that are solid red gems so maybe I try to screw you out of that um, so maybe I use that to my advantage and I go towards something else so now you're getting a card that maybe you don't need as much and so there's just a lot going on and this game just adds more to an already great game now there is one thing I am worried about it which uh, I, I probably shouldn't be worried about it, but it seems to be happen more and more from what I've seen uh, with some games where a game will come out, it's a great game, you know, whatever, but then an expansion comes out and maybe the backs of the cards are a slightly different shade, or maybe the, uh, the card size are slightly different. And I have a number of games that I've been forced to sleeve the games, which I'm a big card sleever anyways, uh, but I, I have to sleeve the game in opaque sleeves now because the hue in the back of the cards are totally different or now maybe the cards are slightly wider or slightly taller and and that is super annoying so i'm a little worried that that might wind up being the case uh, here 
Uh, it's completely arbitrary worry. Uh, I have no reason to think that it would, but I've had it happen lots of times in the past. And not just with Kickstarters, with full retail releases, which is super annoying. Uh, but this is turning more into a rant. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, I have a few links down below. Uh, if you're new here, definitely hit that uh, subscribe button, which is, what, over here? Yeah subscribe button over here stick around check out the rest of my videos uh, i've tried to release uh kind of content throughout the week uh all else fails generally speaking unless something happens uh, i have a video every monday which is my kickstart your week anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys next time in the quarantine <laughs>